Sorry, that's so shit. That's alright. All, right. what, all what, of these, just so you know, all of these are going to be really dull. I lived a very unadventurous life. Hi, I'm Murray from Easy Life, and these are my firsts for Enemy. The first CD that I ever bought, I'm not really sure because it was such a long time ago, but I, I remember having CDs bought for me, and I had Muckfly that I really liked. I don't know what their first album was called, but it was a good one, <laughs> and I still really like it. The first band t-shirt that I ever had was a band called The Skints. Does anyone know who The Skints are? They were like a ska band and my brother took me to see a band called Beowin Sound Clash and Skints were supporting and I'd never been to a gig before and I thought it was cool to buy a t-shirt so I bought that t-shirt. Uh, the first job, I had a paper, paper round, if that counts as a job. I had a paper round for a long time. Um, on a Saturday and Sunday and then I graduated and got seven days a week and I got paid like eight pounds Which is a lot of money when you're 12. Yeah, and then I graduated to the milkshake shop and then went over the road to the potato shop and Then became the lead singer of easy life <laughs> It's a great trajectory. It's an obvious one First festival I ever went to was I want to get this right. I think it was Why Not Festival, which is in Matlock. It was really small, but like it felt huge. And we went with, I actually went with Sam in the band because we were at school together and we had like all our friends and like, you know, we drank beers and like it was crazy. It was wild. I think we were really, really young. Um, and we went with his mum and dad and they had like a camper van. But I think we had a tent. Yeah, and we got drunk and things. It was, it was wild. First time I was ever on the radio was Dean Jackson, who is a legend from Nottingham. He has like a BBC introducing radio station there called The Beat, and he's been amazing and always played my songs, bless him, and like still like comes and sees our gigs. And yeah, we have like a really nice um, relationship thing going on. He's really sweet, and yeah, it was Dean. And I remember it, it's mental, it's mental in it, like got like your mum and your dad and all your mates like, let's fucking up on the radio, man, this is crazy. This is quite funny. There's a there's a festival near where where we we're from called Glaston Budget. Has anyone ever heard of that? Oh, I thought like you'd be like, lol, that's hilarious, but you already know it. Um, yeah, it's like a tribute festival, but it's really local and. Basically everyone goes because it's like 30 quid to get in and it's just a laugh and it's like shit like cover bands and it's just fucking amazing. It's such a good festival, such a good festival. And we auditioned to play that because that was like huge. I'm talking like that is like the holy grail of festival. Like what, you're gonna play Glaston Budget? So we played a venue called The Shed in Leicester, which is quite a legendary venue. And that was the first gig and we got the gig, we played Glaston Budget that summer. The first thing that I do when I get off stage after a gig is probably have a drink of water, and then have a sit down. One thing I really regret about Easy Life is that we don't have any rituals, because sometimes people will be like, oh, do you have like a pre-gig pre ritual? And we're like, no. But I wish it was like, yeah, this is what we do, and it's like, like yeah! And when I get off stage, I'm like, thank fuck, like, straight on the bus to sleep, like, <sighs> First thing we're gonna do after we release Life's the Beach is probably get quite drunk, I think. I think we owe it to ourselves, and I think the law is such that you can get a pub and fill it with your friends. Like, we can have a few mates who are landlords in Leicester, so we'll probably be like, can we have your pub for the night? Here's some money, let's go mental. I think like we haven't been able to get drunk and like have a bit of a like woo moment for ages. No one has, so I think we're gonna, I think yeah, it'd be nice to wet the baby's head as it were and you know, get, get a bit crazy. 